Hey, what is going on, you guys? All right, so today we're going to be talking about uh, bats and uh, these GM uh, Chevy products. They got bats, and if you want to LS swap something, right there's your ECM right here. This one's all. Uh, this is obviously this motor's been put in here, um, but the fastest, easiest way to disable VATS is to start the vehicle up, pull the horn fuse right there, just just so it's not going off. Uh, and uh, start it up, let it run. You want it to be running. And uh, you're going to come in here while it's running. And this guy down here, you remove this kick panel right here, a couple, maybe a couple eight millimeters down here. It just pulls out right here, a couple pull tabs right there. And down here, this is your body control module, your BCM, right here. One, two, three. Unplug all them guys while this thing's running. And then the magic happens. Your security light will come on right there. And your VATS will be disabled permanently. Unless you clear the damn code. If you clear the code, the magic goes away and you're, you're screwed. But if you're pulling this out of a junkyard, there's an alternative way to go about this. Anybody that will let you do this to their vehicle... Or if you got a Silverado, Tahoe, anything you can put your ECU in. Anything. Basically what you do is you got a perfectly running, driving truck, whatever. Uh, you do the same procedure. You put the ECU in it out of the junkyard. It's just got two 8 millimeters on the, the plug harness that, plug in, that it plugs into in the front there. And then... Um, you gotta cycle the key though. You gotta you gotta cycle the key to on. You don't start it. You uh, cycle it to on for ten minutes. You do this three times, three ten minute intervals. You'll cycle it to on, not start it, and let it sit for ten minutes and uh, cycle it off. Immediately cycle it back to on. 10 minutes off, cycle it on, 10 minutes, and then um, then you'll be able to start it. And whenever, you're, uh, whenever you start it, you'll be able to come down here, and guess what? You'll be able to unplug your B, C, M, and that right there. We'll save you about 50 bucks or 60 bucks or whatever, however much uh, they're going to charge you to disable that. But I would still get a tune, but you won't, you won't need it right off. You'll just need to, if you do, especially if you're doing cam, uh, exhaust, uh, so on, you're, you're going to need a tune. But this is just a quick budget way to disable bats, bypass the security system, get your project running. Real simple, real simple stuff. Cheap, well, it won't cost you anything. So, if uh, this has helped you out, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Uh, and like I said, it, it's it's best, you know, to to do this. Before you pull the pull an engine, and it's I mean I'd I, I'd want to hear it run before I bought it, and a lot of times these trucks are they're just getting so cheap that you'd actually be better off just buying a whole parts truck versus just going to the junkyard and buying a motor that's missing accessories, starter, transmission, wiring, all that stuff. A lot of times you'll come out ahead just buying a truck and using the motor and parting out the rest of it. But, uh, 
But I think that's it for this video. I want to keep it short, to the point. Hit that like button and please subscribe. Thank you guys.